The first modern hot air balloon came to Albuquerque in 1971. When Sid Cutter decided he wanted a balloon to decorate his airplane hangar for a World War I themed birthday party for his mother. The morning after the party, he and his brother took it for a flight from the airport to the UNM North Golf Course. It didn't take too long for the folks at radio station KOB to take notice. They contacted him about bringing some balloons to town to help celebrate the 50th anniversary of the radio station. I said, well, why don't we have a balloon race? Well, what's a balloon race? Well, I don't know what a balloon race is, but I, I read in a book there was 19 in, in uh, England and uh, get together. She says, well, can we get 21? I said, well, I'll try. Sid did get 21 pilots to commit to coming to Albuquerque, but due to shipping and weather issues, only 13 actually made it to what is now the parking lot at Coronado Shopping Center. He showed up out here at the... Uh, at the shopping center with a, a, a packet of passes so that people could come into the field. And when he gets there, you understand nobody advertised this except KOB radio and television. When he gets there, there's 20,000 people there. There's one policeman on horseback, and he takes these passes and just throws them in the back seat <laughs> because these people are all around balloons. and. That's actually illegal, according to FAA regulations, to, to be amongst the aircraft at an air show. And it's basically an air show. But Albuquerque had been doing this so long, it still happens now. See? Due to the success of this event, Sid and Tom were asked to put together a bid to host the first ever World Hot Air Balloon Championships. We, we thought that surely New York and Chicago <laughs> yeah, somebody and Los Angeles would be bidding on this thing. So we're going to have to really do it up big to make sure and win. We found out years later that Kirsten hadn't talked to anybody else about it, but kept pretending like he had so we'd make it fancier. So Sid and Albuquerque hosted the first World Championships in 1973. 128 balloons participated at the state fairgrounds in the middle of Albuquerque. And in 1974, building on the success of the World Championships and being the Chamber of Commerce type guy he was, Sid put on yet another balloon rally with 111 balloons. In 1975, it was decided to hold the balloon rally, which would include the second World Championships, in October, when the weather would traditionally be better. But concern about going 18 months without a balloon rally found the organizers working with the local balloon club to put on a rally in February as well. Some people call 1975 the year of two balloon fiestas. The October 75 balloon fiesta also ushered in a new launch site. Sims Field, south of Jefferson and Osuna, allowed for a lot more spectators to come out and witness the spectacle. 1976 was the first year the Balloon Fiesta was produced by the newly created Albuquerque International Balloon Fiesta, Inc., or AIBF. Born out of a city commission established to help produce previous fiestas, AIBF's purpose was to produce the annual event. In later years, a formal mission statement was adopted. It is to conduct the world's premier ballooning event while renewing friendships and promoting camaraderie among all participants and promoting the sport of ballooning, the city of Albuquerque, and the state of New Mexico nationally and internationally. Another shift also occurred at this time, a move from the serious competition of the world championships to a fun type of competition. Tumbleweeds, big Kodak film boxes, and even hula hoops were thrown on targets. And a key to a new car was put on a pole, starting the infamous key grab event. The concept is simple. Grab the keys, win the car. Competition, though. The brass ring, or should we say the key? A number of additions happened in the years that followed. 
1978, a few balloons flew before sunrise in what is now known as the Dawn Patrol. In 1981, the first gas balloon event was held as Balloon Fiesta moved north again, this time to Cutter Field. Balloon Fiesta moved north again in 1986 to the first Balloon Fiesta Park just south of Alameda. In 1987, the first balloon glow was held, even though local balloonists had been glowing since 1979 around Albuquerque. In 1989, special shaped balloons held their first rodeo and the small informal Dawn Patrol became a formal event, further evolving into the Dawn Patrol show in 1996. In 1992, Kodak became the title sponsor of the most photographed event in the world. 1993 featured the first midweek mass ascension, and Balloon Fiesta hosted the 37th Gordon Bennett Gas Balloon Race, followed the next year by the 8th World Gas Balloon Championships. Also in 1994, the special shapes were featured in their own mass ascension and another balloon glow. Night Magic was added on the second Saturday night. Piggybacking on the recent success of gas balloon events, Balloon Fiesta added its own gas competition, the America's Challenge, in 1995. While the Special Shapes added a balloon glow of their own to the schedule, it's called a Glodio. The 25th event in 1996 was also the first year Balloon Fiesta was located in a permanent site. Its current site, north of Alameda. The field, like all the previous ones, was just dirt. The first grass didn't appear until 2000, and even then, only on the south end of the field. Featuring an 80-acre launch area, the entire park is 360 acres. 1997 saw the midweek mass ascension add the Flight of Nations, featuring all the pilots who are attending from outside the United States. The Gordon Bennett returned again in 1999, replacing Balloon Fiesta's America's Challenge for just that year. The most balloons ever registered and launched at Balloon Fiesta in a single year was 1,019 in the year 2000. 2001 found a scaling back of sorts. The number of balloons was limited to 750 for safety reasons, and Kodak finishes its run as the title sponsor but grass was added to the rest of the field. The Gondola Club was formed in 2003. The Gordon Bennett returned for the third time in 2005, running concurrently with America's Challenge, leading to the largest launch of gas balloons at the same time in North America. And a new event, Albuquerque Aloft, was added as a thank you to the city for supporting Balloon Fiesta. It's held on the Friday morning preceding Balloon Fiesta. Well, there have been a few years when Friday afternoon flights ahead of the official Saturday morning start were staged. The afternoon breezes rarely cooperated, and Balloon Fiesta no longer attempts afternoon flights. 2013 found Balloon Fiesta adding a music fiesta on the last Saturday afternoon. Darius Rucker was the headliner that year. In 2015, Canon, a major sponsor in the early days of Balloon Fiesta, returned as the presenting sponsor. From the hot air balloon capital of the world, this is the 46th edition of the Albuquerque International Balloon Fiesta. In 2017, Balloon Fiesta produced its own live video show and streamed it on the internet. Balloon Fiesta Live garnered nearly 350,000 views with minimal advanced promotion. And now, here is Glenn Moyer and Art Lloyd Jr. You can check out all the Balloon Fiesta live shows and the live streams during Balloon Fiesta by heading to BalloonFiesta.com. 2020 was the year that really wasn't. The COVID pandemic hit the world and forced the postponement of the 49th Balloon Fiesta until 2021. This non-event became known as Balloon Fiesta Siesta complete with t-shirts, pins, and face masks to match. While there was no formal event, Balloon Fiesta Live still took to the airwaves with 14 live shows, featuring pictures and video of balloons flying and glowing around the country. Live guests and video highlights of previous year's Balloon Fiestas were also included. Everything was back on track, though, for 2021, 
and again for 2022, when AIBF will celebrate 50 years of the Albuquerque International Balloon Fiesta. During the nearly 50 years of Balloon Fiesta, many other events have come and gone. Remembered by few, forgotten by many, and unknown to most. Events like the long-distance hot air balloon race, Balloon Fiesta Queen, Downtown Parade, Wine Festival, Aerobatic Air Shows, Parachutists, Holiday Fiesta, Bunnies in Balloons, and more all serve to entertain during their time. But when it's all said and done, it's the ballooning that is what Balloon Fiesta is known for. The Albuquerque International Balloon Fiesta is the world's premier balloon event. Renewing friendships and promoting camaraderie and promoting the sport of ballooning, the city of Albuquerque, and the state of New Mexico nationally and internationally. <laughs>